The award-winning actor played James Bond for four films spanning between 1995 and 2002, with his final installment being Die Another Day. After almost a decade as the spy, Pierce Brosnan expected more than a simple phone call to let him know he had grown too old for the character and was about to be replaced. When Brosnan was cast as the notorious MI6 officer for 1995's GoldenEye many fans didn't understand the decision at all. Up until that point the actor was largely known for his roles in television series and had only appeared in a handful of films. He was originally considered for the Bond role thanks to his late wife, actress Cassandra Harris. Harris appeared in For Your Eyes Only, produced by famed 007 producer Albert R. Broccoli, which is where he met Brosnan. The star was actually due to appear as Bond a few years before he made his debut, with Timothy Dalton playing the character instead as Brosnan was tied into a series contract with NBC at the time for his role in Remington Steel. The James Bond series went on hiatus for several years after the Dalton installations, while disputes over distribution rights were settled and by 1994 Brosnan was announced as the fifth 007 actor with a film due the following year. The new Bond claimed his first press conference after the announcement was a baptism by fire. Although he found the instant fame of his new role somewhat overwhelming, the November Man actor grew to love his role and the cast and crew he was surrounded by for years. Unfortunately, this all came crashing down after the 2002 installment Die Another Day. The highly sought-after actor had already moved on to filming after the sunset shortly after the Bond film was released. He was on set of After the Sunset in the Bahamas when he received the devastating phone call from his agent. His agent candidly shared negotiations have stopped and that the producers were not sure of how they wanted to move forward. A few days later Brosnan found himself on a phone call with said producers, Barbara Broccoli and Michael G. Wilson. He recalled the conversation. She was crying, Michael was stoic and he said, you were a great James Bond. Thank you very much, and I said, thank you very much. Goodbye, that was it. I was utterly shocked and just kicked to the curb with the way it went down. Don't miss, ultimately they had decided to move forward with a younger, fresher face to rebrand the film series. It was clear that there was no point in arguing for a different outcome, but that didn't make the blow any less vicious for the Black Adam star. In a 2005 interview with Playboy, Brosnan spoke plainly about his emotions towards the sacking. He said, It's shocking to be told that you're too old, that you're past your sell-by date. It's bloody frustrating that the FS pulled out the rug when they did. It's cold, it's juvenile, and it shouldn't be done like that, not after 10 years and 4 films. A particularly sore point for the actor was the fact that he viewed the cast, crew and especially the producers as family as most had met his late wife before she passed. Once he had come to terms with the heartbreak of losing the role, Brosnan realized the immense feeling of freedom he now had. When Daniel Craig took the character back to the big screen, it was reported that his predecessor had refused to offer help or advice to his successor. However, Brosnan explained that this move was not for petty revenge, but rather that he believed his replacement was skilled enough to not need it in the first place. The Mamma Mia actor shared with ABC News, he'll find his own way. He is a wonderful actor. I wish him all the happiness and success. 